What's up, y'all? It's your girl back at another video. And today, I'm gonna be eating Jollibee. As you guys can see, it's a nice sunny day today in Seattle. Today is Saturday. Um, I'll probably have this video up tomorrow for you guys on Sunday. I know a lot of people are going out for like Halloween weekend and stuff. But for me, I'm gonna be staying home today, you guys. I figured I'd just treat myself out to some Jollibee. Anyways, you guys, before we continue this video, there's just something that's been on my mind that I wanted to address. And if you don't wanna hear it, then you don't have to watch. You can just skip past it. This is probably the one and only time I'm gonna talk about it on this channel. Anyways, if you guys see my last video i went to fogo de chow i reviewed their food and i actually got a lot of people in the comments who were getting on my head telling me like they have an issue with me complaining that i need to just eat my food stop complaining yada yada i complain too much i hate that i feel like i need to even explain myself if you guys don't know i actually do food reviews people that have me on tiktok you know what's up and a lot of people love me for that but a lot of people also hate me for that i feel like people that leave all these hate comments under my videos they're probably going through something you know they're probably just self-projecting most of these these people are unhappy with something else that's going on in their lives that they feel the need to tear other people down and i'm here to tell you guys that i'm not going nowhere i'm gonna keep posting videos whether or not people fuck with it or not this is my hobby like i want to keep my videos to be true and authentic to who i am and i feel like it would just go against my morals to lie to people on camera if you don't like my content you don't like what i post respectfully you don't have to watch my videos but anyways you guys i know i just talked a whole bunch here it was just it's just something i need to get off my chest you can really tell a lot about someone by what they choose to see in you Shout out to everyone that, you know, likes my honesty. Shout out to everyone that's been rocking with me, supporting me. Today, I woke up to 70,000 subscribers. Like, <gasps> what? I just want to say I love you guys so much. I just can't explain how thankful and happy I am that all you guys are out here watching and supporting my videos. Like, it really means the world to me. So, um, with that being said, let's go get some motherfucking Jollibee. All right, y'all, so I got the Jollibee. Oh my gosh, you guys, it was like an over 45 minute wait, and that's not even including waiting in line. But you know what, I understand they're busy. This is the only location here in Washington. They're actually opening the one in Tacoma tomorrow, and then they're opening one on Rainier Avenue next year. I'm about to eat in my car, you guys. I'm gonna do a car mukbang for you guys, just because it's really loud and busy inside of there. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea how excited I am. I've actually never seen Jollibee with this just plain white bucket. I think it's because they have like a special because it's their 25 year anniversary. I believe it was 15 piece for 25 bucks. But anyways, guys, look, I got a 10 piece all spicy. I already know this about a bus, you guys. It's fresh out of the fryer. I can feel exactly how hot it is. Y'all know I can't forget the gravy. I got extra gravy too. I got rice. I did try to get adobo rice, you guys, but they ran out today. So just regular rice, nice steaming hot. And honestly, Jollibee has the best gravy, bro. Like, look at that, you guys. I don't know if it's focusing, but... Oh, so good. I'm drinking this shit like soup. I love the drumstick, that's my favorite piece. It's the only way to eat the chicken dunked in the gravy. Nice steaming hot too. I got gravy all over my mouth. Mmm. to dip the rice in the gravy. That is so motherfucking good. People be like, Jolly's not all that. It is all that. And it deserves all the respect. Like, look. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was not burning my mouth on one end. I'm so happy right now, you guys. Like, this is just crazy. My chicken is nice and juicy, tender. This is my favorite part of the drumstick because you get to do this. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. This is our limited edition pineapple mango juice, you guys. It is so good. Mm. For some reason, I don't like the regular pineapple juice, but this pineapple mango go crazy. Mm. This was so worth the wait. Like, look at that nice, crunchy, hot, fresh chicken. Oh my god, I was thinking about this the whole time I was waiting there, you guys, in line. I was just thinking about the chicken in my mouth. Like, mm. y'all, I cannot make this shit up. I'm over here making a mess and shit. I got it and they're spicy and I actually really miss when they used to have that spicy powder because that's when it was actually spicy spicy also it's Filipino American Heritage Month so I had to get some Jollibee I'm tired look You see how that just glide right off? No, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna eat one more leg and then I'm gonna get into the palabo. I just can't help myself, guys. It's nice and hot. Okay, I know this might seem kind of gross, you guys, but I'm gonna save the rest of this leg just because I can't finish it. I'm starting to get full and I want room for the palabo. Damn, I made a big ass mess and I actually got some sauce on my pants. Anyways, look at this. Oh, got my palabo. I love palabo. And then I got my extra sauce for it, of course. I'm definitely a sauce kind of girl, you guys. Like, I need sauce. I just need sauce. I don't know why. I just do. I don't like anything that's dry. Mm -hmm. Then I got some lemon. This is also mandatory. These are always so hard to open though. Ah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all my Filipinos. People always ask me if I'm Filipino. I'm not. But I've had two Filipino boyfriends. And let me just say. Obviously not all of them. But from the experience that I've had, mm -mm.
this was worth waiting in line for 45 minutes this was worth getting my pants dirty this was worth getting my car dirty Jollibee is life if you don't like Jollibee I'm pretty sure there's probably something wrong with your taste buds mm. Bitch, I'm my body, I get what I please. You know my body, I do ease. I don't know why I can't stop saying that, you guys. Like, I'll randomly say that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, you guys, I'm starting to get full. I'm gonna go to Costco after this, get some gas, probably go to the Asian store, get a few things. Thank you again, you guys, for 70,000 subs. Like, ugh. that's insane. Like, I can't believe it. Road to 100K. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, let me show you guys the stain that I got. Like, I still gotta run errands, and I look like I shit myself. I eat it up and all that. Be the world, Jose. She's a stripper in the